All right, it's officially time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Movement Break. My name is Amber Linkford, and I'll be running you through your movements today. For today's session, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on that lower body, hip, and a little bit of back today. For this session, if you do feel like you need any help with balance or a little bit more support, you can move to a support structure, which includes a wall or a desk. Let's go ahead and get started. First exercise, we're gonna be doing some ankle circles. So we're starting at our feet today. For this one, like I mentioned, you may want to brace one hand on that support structure, your wall or desk, because we're gonna take one leg, we're gonna lift it up off the ground. Starting with that foot flexed, we're going to circle. Make one big circle with that ankle and then switch direction. We're going to do five each way, alternating each direction. Trying to get as much range of motion as you can. Let's do one more each side, lowering it down. Switching to our other side, bracing that hand on the support structure if you need to. Lifting that foot up, we're going to circle one way and then switch. Let's do one more each direction, bringing both feet down to the ground. We're going to step back with that right leg first. So we're gonna be in a little bit of a split stance, a little bit of a small lunge. I want both feet flat on the ground, starting with that back leg. It's gonna start straight. And all we're gonna do is bend that knee, keeping that back heel on the ground. All we're doing is bending and straightening that knee. So a little bit of a smaller movement, but you should feel a nice stretch in your calf as you bend. And then we straighten. Working on that ankle range of motion and mobility. Let's do two more. Bringing both feet in, stepping back with that opposite side. Lunge stance, starting with Feet flat on the ground, back leg straight. We bend and straighten. Let's do two more on this side. Relax the end of that, bringing those feet in once again. I want our legs about hip to shoulder width apart. We're gonna move into some heel or calf raises. Now that we got them stretched out, we're gonna activate. So hands will be on your hips or holding onto your support structure, keeping those knees straight. We're going to lift those heels off the ground, pressing those ankles forward, and then slowly lowering down. We're gonna do 10 here. Let's do two more here. Relaxing out of that, we're going to widen our stance next. Legs are straight, feet are facing forward. Legs should be about shoulder width or farther apart. From here, we're gonna take our hips. We're gonna bring them over to the right, leaning those hips over. Chest tilt, taking that right arm, we're gonna reach and extend overhead, bring it down, switching sides, taking those hips over to the left, reaching that left arm up and out as far as you can, 
Stretching those hips and our side body here. Let's do one more to each side. Staying in that wide stance, we're gonna do some half circles next. So similar position, we're gonna take those hips, bring them over to the right. We're going to do a half forward circle. So we're going to circle those hips forward, over to the left, and then back to the right. Making a half circle with those hips. Opening up the front of our hip flexors here. Let's do one more. And then we're gonna switch and we're gonna do our half circle, circling those hips back. So now we take those hips, we circle back, and over to the left. Opening up that low back a little bit more. Maybe even feeling a little bit of a stretch down in those hamstrings as we lean that chest forward to circle back. Let's do one more. Standing tall, we're gonna bring those legs in and we're gonna do some body weight squats next. So for our squats, legs can be anywhere from hip to shoulder width apart. Hands can be on your hips or holding onto that support structure. We're gonna do 10 squats here. With our squats, we're keeping that back nice and flat as we sink those hips down and up. Taking it nice and slow. Working on getting as much range of motion as you can. Making sure those knees are also tracking with our feet. Let's do three more here. And on that last one, we're going to hold at the bottom of our squat. We're going to brace our arms, either those forearms, right above those knees, or we're gonna brace those hands right above our knees, like so. In this position, we're going to take that right hand, reaching up, rotating up towards the ceiling, coming back down, and switch. Alternating side to side. You can feel free, once again, keeping those hands on those knees. Instead, this will leave you a little bit higher up in that squat position. Let's do one more to each side. Standing up nice and tall out of that. You can feel free to shake those legs out. Give them that little shake. And we'll end with just a little bit of upper body and neck next. So we're going to bring those arms out to the side. From here, we're going to flip those palms up. We're going to do a few curls in. So we're going to bring those arms in, reaching those fingers down to the shoulders, and then extending, reaching those fingers down towards the ground, feeling that nice stretch in the forearms, and repeat. Let's do two more here. Alive. I would sail across. 
Lowering those arms down to your side. We're gonna end with a few neck rotations or turns. So taking your head, we're gonna look over to the right. Looking as far right over that shoulder as you can. Back to center. And then looking over that left shoulder. Actively pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. Let's do one more to each side. Relaxing out of that, feel free. Shake it out once again. And that is all of the movements I have for you all today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you next time.